What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome to the very first episode showing whatever you want to call it of this very cool new game that I'm here to check out Jurassic World Evolution. It looks super sweet. Look at that awesome T Rex right there, and I guess we're going to be able to build our own parks and make dinosaurs and do all sorts of crazy cool stuff. So I'm super pumped to check it out. This is my first time seeing it. Really have no clue what to expect, but I think it should be pretty cool. I have my friend here. Yes, yeah, and Nick, Nick Rogers, Nick. Uh, uh, head of animation at Frontier Developments. Awesome. And he's going to guide us so that we can go through and get some stuff done and see what some of the really cool new features are of this awesome new game. Yeah, I hope you like it. So if you just kick us off with a new game, uh, right. you can either play with mouse and keyboard or pad, whichever you're more comfortable with. Here we go, new game, bada boom. And this is just going to get you started on the first island, uh, Isla Matasaros. It's just sort of the introduction island of the game. Awesome. You can see you've got all five deaths there. The, uh, so I'm not going to try and name them all, I'll get them wrong. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you're starting there and you're going to unlock the other ones as you go through. But Present. today we're just okay. going to do this one. This is as good a okay. place as any of them. So this game takes place Isla after uh, Jurassic World War and before Jurassic World. relatively World. stable. Yeah, you can, uh, like you can get your feet wet here. It is Jeff Goldblum. Sure. Here you go. We got the man himself. Yeah, I was lucky enough to meet him yesterday. Where the uh, it's awesome, and he's been, he's been wonderful. Hungry things are. So this we, uh, so great. You want to be ready before you try that. He's so beautiful. And this so, is the actual so it begins. Game right yeah, this, this is the great one here. You can start moving the camera around and playing it. It's uh, ambitious. If you uh, hold on, to, uh, you can double wear to move the camera here. Ah, can possibly go and if you hold middle click, you can rotate it. Come on, do all Doctor. Sorts. You know we've learned so much wow. and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, that's a Mr. good reaction. Yes, like that the, <laughs> the last <laughs> time. There's always the last time. And can I spin and the camera? The yes, you can. If you hold down middle click and then left <laughs> okay, right, you can. Uh, now. No, no way. Cabot Finch. Public and you can get right down, right the way down to like the grass level. I'm here to help if you need to, individual Let's blades of grass. On what you're here to wow, look at the detail on this guy. Let's create dinosaur this facilities on the islands stunning. we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes. Because Spanish is the talking about anything important? Choice oh, they, they just, they, they can just give you the basics. Because this is the very first time, they're just going to get you started with, uh, they're going to talk you through the first few steps of just showing a hammer creation lab, which is where your dinosaurs come from, so... You yeah, should just attach it to the yeah, side. this is it. But watch out for dinosaurs. They, they'll, they'll talk <laughs> us through the first couple of steps, and then uh, everything will get unlocked, and we can just go. Okay. We can just go crazy. So he wants you just to build that Hammond Creation Lab first. So okay. That's available just on that that little tab on the left. I click it just right here. That's enclosures. it. Enclosures, and then it's the one at the top. That's Convenient. it. And we've just marked out a blue box just to help you through the first section there. Pop Sweet. It in there. Oh wow! Look at how quick it builds. Yeah, this one's sped up a bit for the demo. It's, uh, they normally take a little bit more time, but uh, you have this awesome little animation for everything that you build. That is nifty. So Obviously, you'll connected. need to connect it to the Yes, yeah, so every building needs to be connected to the power grid the power and grid. Uh, to the path system as well. So you'll just need to pop a little path down. Okay, how do we do that? That's just with the path tool on the left there. Ah, it's blinking for me. That's it. And then you click where you want to start and you click where you want to end, and it'll join the two up. So okay. just, if you just click there and then click on the main path, you can see Ooh, it snaps to it, that's and it's, nice. it's done. It's just really, really quick spine-based Incubating a dinosaur. And then you just right-click to You'll stop start the with tool. a <laughs> Big there you word for a not so little bit. So Struthiomimus is like a small Gallimimus. Um, it looks kind of like an ostrich. An cool. um, so there if you click on the, on the creation lab that you, that you just built, this also and lets go me to evaluate incub your uh, viability. Incubate dinosaur, right? So, you know, no uh, which is just in the green there. Oh, no. awesome, awesome. So you can see these are the uh, genomes that you've got at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, you got eventually you'll have all the dinosaurs down there. There's going to be more than 30 dinosaurs at launch. Um, you need to have 50% or more in order to build a dinosaur. So you've got 50% okay. uh, genome of the Struthiomimus at the moment. Okay. So if you click incubate on the bottom okay, right there. Okay, and I click on it first and then incubate. Very nice. That's I saw there's a modify there too. That's Your it. There's modify simple, as well. Really? So by default Create all the gaps in the DNA is from, uh, filled with frog DNA, but you can swap that out for other animals if you want to. Capital, okay. And that gives them different stats. Huh? Which means you and can do more going, research I can to build better facilities. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. So a lot of the game is about starting go. one thing off and the then trying something life. else. So you might send out an expedition, or start researching Nature something, and, and then you, you keep all these little loops going Simple. all the time. There's always some sort of thing that you need to be managing. Awesome. And then should I go here? Uh, yeah, well, you're already in there, actually. So you just okay. need to go to Release Dinosaur, and you'll get to see your Ooh. first dinosaur. Here it is. 
it's so realistic looking too. Oh, it's lovely Look to hear. belly. Yeah, they've got incredible skin de uh, detail in these models. They've really done a lovely job moment. on that. The result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials, and if errors, you hit R at this point, you see you get a bit of data about the dinosaur and how they're feeling, what's making them happy, what's making them upset. So at the moment she's a bit thirsty, living, she's a bit hungry, uh, and also the herbivores will have a social need. They need to be around others of the same kind, otherwise they get a bit lonely and, and they'll start we, trying to break out. <laughs> you, just you don't really so cool. want. So I can just if I click. So on it. well done. Oh, you, if you click on her at the moment, because you're still in the tutorial, it won't take you down to the camera. That's something that I've noticed happens today. That probably won't happen at launch. Your facility um, but is yeah, now later on when you click on it, you, it'll like go down to the dino cam. Paying guests, which are really my favorite kind of guests. That is so cool. All right, so we don't have an enclosure yet for this. Is that? Oh, you, you're in an enclosure at the moment. So at oh, the moment the you're in an inbuilt. Uh, this is a built uh, enclosure that was already waiting Security. for you when you okay. started. So this one's quite safe. It's already in there. Science. So what Cabot here is I've just talking about at the moment are the three different divisions, which uh, there'll be a screen pop up in a second and I can talk okay. you through. Okay. It's sort of what guides you through the narrative of the game. Of their team. Choose one of their contracts. Go. It'll help he you likes develop to talk. your facility. <laughs> Here you go. So you have these three divisions, which are sort of the three different branches that you can go down through the game. Okay. Uh, each one you're going to uh, you'll earn reputation. It's kind of like a reputation system in each of those different divisions, and that will allow you to research different things for your park, depending on who you pledge allegiance to. Okay. Now the science division. That's where you get the fossils and all that. Yeah. So the science division is all about getting the purest dinosaurs possible. They want to try and make the most most authentic dinosaurs with the smallest amount of filler DNA as possible okay. and uh, learning as much as they can. The entertainment division, they're all about bringing visitors to the park. They want this to be the, the best attraction in the okay. world and they're so about the, satisfying the, the tourists. The stores and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, the, the shops gas. and the arcades and the okay. big crazy dinosaurs. Security. This now security, cool. these guys, uh, they want to just make the most dangerous dinosaurs. See how crazy and aggressive they can get and then see if you can control them. So, so they're can, kind is of... Is that something we can do or is that later in the game? No, you can do that. You can do that here. So um, yeah, if you choose this one then you'll you'll have a Security-based mission. Okay, so construct power and connect it to the expedition center. All right. So this all starts with the uh, the basic steps. They all st start with the same basic things. Of you need to have an expedition center where you go out and get fossils. Mm -hmm. The fossils come back and you extract DNA from them, and then from the DNA you build your genome, which makes you dinosaurs. So there's a few steps to getting a new dinosaur. So I'll this go will ahead take you through. This is Lambert, head of security. Yeah, so it will just want you to build an expedition center, which is just flashing up Welcome on the left the so here's our basic again, conundrum. Assume, yep, that's right. We want to keep our animals that's under control. You if you find any space, you see this green radius is where power is already behaviors. supplied to. Yeah, you might find a clearer space just down here. You could just deforest that area if you wanted. But everyone's but, ooh, fear object, a clear space here. And if you use the Z and X keys, you can rotate the building around. But we can't explore it globally without taking So when it when it goes blue, there we go. So you found a nice spot there. An expedition up center will allow you to send dig teams around the world in search of new dino fossils. Did I have to uh, click a button? You just need to get the path tool, that's it. And then you'll just need to join, like you did with the other one, just from the start there, onto the main path. And, and there you go. It just means that the staff life. and the guests can get into so it. So, one more thing. Your reputation. And then just right clicks come out of this one. Unquote, there you go. As that's on its way. And so once that's if built, you you'll have access to the expedition map, which is where you go out to different dig sites to find fossils. Awesome. Should be ready. There you go. It's ready to go. You can see your helicopters life, there. Ready to get started. So then, so you click, on, on, yeah, click on the building. And if they don't so you get, get a bit of information about the building, how much personally. power it's using, how well protected it is against storms, all sorts of little things that will come into play later on in the game. Oh, you awesome. get a couple of tips here. And, okay, continue. You also well probably done. notice that you've got a little upgrade tab up here as well, where the, uh, the up arrow is. So all Watch the buildings have these upgrade closely. slots so you can make them more efficient and faster. <laughs> so Later on in the game, it's just more of the things that you can research and better your manage. Standing, so your if you just pop back to that first tab you will, and hit the view expedition map. This means they'll be willing now all to of these are real-world dig sites uh, that actually exist and you can read more about them in the InGen database. Um, oh, there you go, you're just getting your first big Sweet. mission. Just Fired 50% here. Do you know how to yeah. say that one? Edmontosaurus, uh, oh, Edmonton in uh, Canada. Give it a one so if you just start that then, mission, let me know okay. If you're so he wants you to find a uh, Edmontosaurus fossil. So let's go up to that northmost Glad one, you on and you'll see that the most commonly found, oh, sorry, that the yellow the dot there, the, the, the most commonly found species at this particular site is the Edmontosaurus. So if you click on there, they're smarter and more and if you just pop back out of the screen. For. 
you can see your helicopter is going to fly off. Oh, look at it go, look at it go. Yeah, and he's off to go That's get those fossils. That's why I'm always testing and when evaluating our security is. protocols. That's he right. For us. He's exactly, exactly. And he's going to come back and the fossils get, will get taken to, to the fossil center, which is yeah, here. And I think there's the already some in there that you can get started with. And so that's right here. That's right. And if you just view the fossils there. And get another little tip screen. Sweet. Okay. Continue. So these are all the fossils that you currently got, and, um, and you can then extract DNA from them. So we want to find the one that is the Edmontosaurus. The so the Edmontosaurus is uh, this oh, Hadrosaur. Uh, well, you could do, you could do, but we've already got stuff okay, in mind. Okay. So uh, if we go to this sort of bronze-colored one, you see that's the Edmontosaurus fossil. Okay. Um, and from that's a medium-quality fossil, fossil, so you're going to get an extra 8% DNA from that. And that's because so. the only two stars, too. That's right. If you click on Extract DNA, said you could sell it too. You can also sell it. So later on you might find that you've got 100% of that genome. You don't need any more of that fossil. You can just sell it for the money. Okay. Or it could be that you're just desperately short on cash and you just need to sell all your fossils. Yeah, definitely. You have too many. Now, how do I get out? Do I just click yeah, over just here? Yeah, just click that or going? hit escape. Yeah, It'll and, and that will carry on running in the background. So you can go back, back and concentrate on something else. So at the all moment right. you've got you've got some fossil extraction going on. You've got some... Um, you've got a dig site going out. So you can go back and check on your dinosaur. And I think you're... I want to play with them. I want to pet them. If, if you click on it, you get the really? you get the proper. You should get the um, you get the nice close up camera, oh, so you can check the details, so cool. and you can move around again with the middle mouse click and drag about. Um, you can move around her, and if you hover over and click on any of these stats down the side, it will give you a little bit more information about what they're actually lacking in. So if you if you click on habitat, for instance, you can see that the thing that she wants more of is is some more forest because okay. it's feeling how a bit How do we add in more? Uh, Okay, so if you come back out of this this screen, and if you click on the little terrain tool at the bottom with the tree, okay, cool. And uh, now just paint like a paintbrush, and okay. uh, that'll add some forest down for you. So you can just zoom out a bit and whoa, yep. that is super cool. There you go. And sort of the more you put down, the, the sort of the denser it's going to get. And you can do the same with water, and you can also change the the terrain heights as well oh, if you want to wow. add some undulation. So this one, this would it's be like shrubs. little shrubs. Yeah, it's just sort of ferns and things okay. like that. To, and then this does the water. Yep. So we can... All right, that's cool. It's and just then... nice and easy. Yeah, absolutely. And then this does... Uh, this just raises raise and lowers the terrain, or you can smooth it out, or you can flatten it. So if, if you need to build something, for instance, you can flatten an area. But that's what I want to build. That's very cool. Yeah. yeah. So just a few little little things to just help you customize your, your enclosure. And you the helicopter coming back. That's it. You should you got that little notification now that says uh, the fossils are back. Sweet. Ah, cool. So you've got a nice piece of amber there. That's the best possible preservation of okay. DNA that you can okay. get. So if you click on that and hit extract DNA, you can see that once that's extracted, that's going to take us over that 50% threshold, and then we can incubate our, our Edmontosaurus. Now, he's a really cool-looking dinosaur, so I think you're going to like that. Awesome, awesome. And, and from this screen, you can also queue up a few different fossils. So you can say, when this one's finished, start the next one. So if you, if you clicked on that other new one, okay, that and then say, add to queue, it just means that when this one's finished, the next one will just get started automatically, and you don't have to keep coming back to the screen every time. It's just going right. to tick that over in the background. All right, sweet. Now, what would be another thing that we could do that we should be thinking about? I think we should probably put down a feeder for us, Strithia Mimas, because she's probably okay. quite hungry. Oh, so yeah? if we look in the uh, in the enclosures section, which is the, the fence there, yep, and if you just have a look at this uh, ground feeder here. And that's herbivore. Yep, you can pop that down somewhere. Now, it, you can place this anywhere, but what I like to do is put this quite near to a fence because later on, if you want to build a viewing gallery, the uh, the feeder will attract dinosaurs to the feeder, and then all the guests can watch it, and they can they can see the dinosaurs eating, and it's it, it brings thinking. in more guests. So, uh, yeah, you it, you do have um, a little something to one? think about. You can do more than one if you like. Yeah, I mean they'll uh, you've only got the one dinosaur in at the moment, so they probably won't get too hungry. Okay, but we'll as we start then. to have more. Oh, here we go, new viable genome. We nice. can now build our Edmontosaurus. Lovely. So, you, so let's see. Back to the Hammond Creation Lab, Creation which is this, uh, one? this guy here. You know it all so well. By That's heart. it. <laughs> I've played this so much. Uh, so, incubate dinosaur egg. All right, sweet. And you can see we've got our Edmontosaurus here. Now, you can either build your vanilla Edmontosaurus, or if you wanted to, you could have a look at the um, modified genome screen and you can look into splicing some other genes in there. Now, does this change their look or just their stats? Right now, we can't change their look, but that is one of the genomes that you can unlock more of later on really? in the game uh, in order to change their uh, their skin patterns. That's exciting. So you can see, uh, by default, you've got all these gaps in the uh, DNA at the moment, okay. and you want to fill those in. At the moment, they're just full of frog DNA. So if you wanted to make this one a little bit more resilient, you could use some Komodo dragon DNA. Ooh. And if you hit um, apply gene, 
You see, what that's done is increase the resilience of this dinosaur, so it's less likely to get sick. Okay, that's cool. Uh, but every time you modify the genome, they become slightly less viable, which means they might fail during incubation. Now, okay. at the moment, you've still got 99% viability, so you're fine. Okay, but okay. if you so really, really heavily modify a dinosaur, yeah. All right, and then how do I activate this? Say, good, go. So or that's, that's do done. So that's okay. brilliant. So now you just go back to the previous screen, and you just hit incubate. Sweet. And now that's going to start building, and that's going to be the, the next step in your mission done. And he also wants you to build an ACU center, which is the asset containment unit, which okay. is your helicopter, which is used for tranquilizing and transporting dinosaurs. So, okay, which so is should useful. we get to that? Then? Yeah, let's that get to that. Under operations? operations, yep. And it's the second one down, ACU center. And we just find a suitable spot. I think there's a nice gap at the back there, actually. And then let's see, you spin no, around C. with, um, uh, it was X and Z to spin around. Oh, if you just sort of. Oh, about. You might, might, oh, oh, you might oh, find oh, the other oh, side, oh, the path might give you a little bit more space. Oh, well, oh, oh the, but then the path's pointing in the other... That's okay, oh, we can no! we can build a curly path, it's fine. Okay, the okay. path will go, uh, it will clear the trees for you. So if you get the path tool... And is it better to start? If you just so if you just move the camera around a little bit so that you can see the... Just right click to clear that. Okay. And uh, yeah, so you see that little stub. There's a little path stub oh, oh. actually on the building. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to get out to spin the camera. Okay. Uh, so no. middle click to spin the camera, or you can use Q and E to spin the camera as well if you find that more comfortable. Do you hold down the middle click or just tap? Yeah, it? hold down the middle okay. click and then uh, and then just drag around. Okay. There we go. So and it, so if you drag down, the camera will go kind of higher. Uh, middle click, and that's it. Yep. So now you can see that stub is just hiding there in the trees. So if you get the path, that should snap onto there and then just click and start clicking round okay that's it and click now, this again. is costing more when i did this so it wasn't that's necessarily right. a smart idea but it does cost a little bit more but luckily you've, you've got plenty of cash at the moment so that's that's linked up we've just got a bit of a roundabout path it doesn't matter too much all right sweet okay and it also wants you to research uh something from the research center so you've already got a research center which is up by the monorail station at the top um it's just this one here with the three this guy that's the one there and if you pop into a view research, that's it. So uh, what we need to do there is it's actually a building upgrade because it's going to be an upgrade for your ACU center. Okay. So the building upgrades is just this one on the bottom. And you've got, uh, I hope you find this one, it's just this one here, which uh, if you're going to, that is the Airborne Rifle 1.0. Special. So that's the one that he wants you to do for the mission. But you can see that you can upgrade all manner of things for all the different buildings. Okay. You can also get from this screen, if you go back to research again, yeah, you've also got things from uh, research from fossils, more types of genomes, uh, more medical treatments for if your okay. dinosaurs get sick, which can happen. So kind of everything happens from this. This is pretty neat. Screen. Yeah, that's it. And you can also skip between the fossil oh, screen and the exposition map here. Yeah. yeah. And if you look in here, this is the InGen database. So this is just a lovely bit of people who are just big fans of the franchise because you've got a bit of information about every dinosaur, every dig site, every character. It's this like is a, neat. This yeah. is neat. So as you so we, we've hidden a lot of stuff on this one, but um, yeah, in the full game you'll have all those dinosaurs in there. That's very. And you get cool. a nice bit, little few stats about them, and just a kind of a little little encyclopedia yeah. of knowledge for for the whole game. I like it. I like it. Cool. Oh, and this is your main management uh, screen. So this is just going to tell you how your Island's doing. Mm -hmm. If you click on island rating, for instance, you can see that your island rating is the accumulation of how well your dinosaurs are doing and how happy your guests are. And if you click on either of these... I'm on poor facility coverage. Yeah, because you have no restaurants or shops or anything like that. Can so. we start working on some of that? Absolutely, yeah. All right. I mean, if you click on that, you can flip it over and it gives you a little bit more detail. So you can go down to quite a bit of depth there. That's very cool, yeah. Drink coverage, fun coverage, shopping coverage, we're at zero. We got nothing, we got nothing. nothing. We just gotta got, get working so on see. it. That's okay, we're just at the very early stages. All right, so we should pop out of here then. Yeah. What you oh, want. I've seen people. And what you get. Oh, yeah, so people are starting to come in, they They're want to come and see your dinosaur. Same thing. Yeah, if you just click and OK, that's you can... what so many scientists... Oh, that's fine. Oh, sorry. That's fine, you can, you can start researching something else if you wanted to. Um, to sometimes one of the power upgrades is quite useful at this point. Because um, as you get more buildings, you'll have and more you, power demands. Do I have a lot of money right now? Can you just click on all of them? Uh, you can only research one at a time. Okay, so, it doesn't yeah. queue up for it. Uh, no, not this one. No, this one's just one at a time, but it notifies you every time one's finished. Okay, should I exit out of here for now? Yeah, just exit out of here. And it says incubate and release a hammer curtain on top. 
you might be able to release your Edmontosaurus now. If you go back okay. to the Hammond Creation Lab, so there you go. So you've got a tick over that. It means that you've got an Edmontosaurus who's ready to go. So if you release Dinosaur and we get to meet him for the first time, right. or her, I should say, they're all doing that. Release Dinosaur. There we go. Wow. Yeah, she's magnificent as well. So cool. Now, is the coloring in this always the same, or is that differ? That's something that you can play? change with the genomes later on. So, uh, that by default, they'll always be this color, but as you research more genomes, you can change their markings. Right. This next bit is going to sound a little crazy, because frankly, it is. But we are going to uh -huh. encourage one of the dinosaurs okay. to breach our containment grid. We'll then react and see if our procedures and personnel are up to the challenge. Yeah. So yes. Uh, so at this point, I'd like to take back everything I just said about this guy. There we go. So she's gone straight for the food. And they call out quite a lot. They're, they're calling for other dinosaurs. If there's another one around, they'll call, and the other dinosaur will call in response. Now we had the the galley like one that was here. Also, do they always interact okay for both herbivores? They're absolutely fine together. I mean, if you if you put a carnivore in there, you might have more trouble, but. Um, the herbivores are generally quite placid, and they they like to have more of their own kind around, but um, they they won't attack the other. Okay, the other and there's two are other ones in here somewhere. Yeah. Some of the more aggressive, um, some of the more aggressive ones like Triceratops. Sometimes they start to spar a bit. They they normally won't kill each other, but they'll just um, with with just they other get a bit grumpy with other with, like other, with a, any of them. Oh, with other Triceratops, or they they'll they'll fight um, oh, some of the bigger um, carnivores as well. Yeah, there you go. She's quite lonely that one. You just saw it's got quite uh, quite bad social needs at the Should we go the and make another friend then? For yeah, it? let's make another one. We'll have one going while we're while we're doing so the rest of the, the mission. The so creation. yeah, back to the creation lab and incubate dinosaur egg and just pick Strithiomimus again and incubate. And she, they're quite cheap, so you can get another one of those going. Okay. So if you wanted to, we could do the next stage of the mission now, which right, is, uh, cool. so George Lambert is a bit of a wild card. He just wants you to open up the gate and release one of the dinosaurs, just so that you can uh, practice. Here? Yeah, so if you click on oh, the gate. Oh no. I a bad feeling about this. <laughs> the gate. I know, this guy's crazy if he wants you to. Yes, but now we can leave the gate open. There's and... people there. This yes. is so reckless. Yeah, this is completely reckless. Uh, um, oh I like his style. <gasps> so the Stuthiomimus is straight out of there. He's like, he's out. Oh, and oh, Ed no. Edmontosaurus is out as well, right? Brilliant. His name, I think I can name Ducky. You, you, can, you can call her that if you want to. You can click on her and uh, rename her. Really? Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. You can rename Your all the buildings and even the gates if you want to actually. That is very <laughs> just helps cool. you find them later on. That's a really useful thing to have, yeah. All right, so should I so just, just say okay? Or uh, if you go to research, um, you could start researching something else if you wanted to just, just pick something and... Uh, the thing, the thing with this game is it's always useful just to have something always ticking over in the background. If you can afford it, just okay. always have something ticking Should over. Should we so. look at vehicles, or is that too far ahead? Uh, no, we can go for that. That'll be something that we use later on, so it, it's all going to come in useful at some point. We can only research one item at a time. Yeah, at the moment, yeah. All right, so we'll pop out of there. That's going. Now, what's going on here? There's still... So, should we find where our Edmontosaurus has gone? Where'd they go? If we click on the map view, which they is just on the left here... Me. Sorry, but let's, <laughs> let's see if we can find them back. If we click on the map view there, you okay, get this lovely... Um, there you go. So, she's run up there by the... Uh, Does it matter which one first? Should I go for the bigger one? That's the one? one That's the one that is your objective for the, uh, this one. Uh, for the mission, yeah. So, if you click on her... You can see you've just fulfilled that objective, okay, and you should get the next one, which will be to, uh, to, to tranquilize this dinosaur. We're using less than lethal, but remember, that dinosaur doesn't know this is just supposed to be yeah. a drill. Ah, she seems so quite happy, just back. While I understand moving around in the park. Security as sharp as possible. So, this is not do you want to tranquilize the first dinosaur? Yeah, I'll try it. I'll try it. Right. Okay, so if you, if you pop out of the screen, and if you go back to your ACU sensor, which we built earlier, right-click. We have our hands full. That's it. Well, you can always get right, right click or escape will always bring okay, out those okay. things. So go um, this one? Uh, it's the one with the helicopter that you built earlier. This one here, the ACU helicopter. Okay. So you can either add a task and just click on the dinosaur and it will go and tranquilize it. So kind of like a RTS style okay. command system. Or Violet you can just pilot the helicopter, which is where you do it yourself, which is a bit more here fun. Here we go, guys. Oh, what am I getting myself into? Uh, yeah, if you want to, you can switch to the pad for this section. Some people find that more comfortable, but if, if you're happy with mouse and keyboard, then I'm, go I'm for it. Just fine with mouse and keyboard. So, uh, take off would be space. Yeah, the bar. controls are in the bottom there, and you can just, uh, yes. So, space to ascend. Um, how do I turn? Uh, I 
normally play on the pad, so you, you will have to. I'm yeah, oh, it's sorry. It's a, I'm going to take, whoa. So it's the triggers are going to be up and down. The triggers are up and down. Okay, oh, yep. that's down. That, that first. All right. Yeah, just take a second to get used to the controls, and then you can see her over there in the distance, and you can uh, fly over. Oh my goodness. There we go. <laughs> And when you get closer, so if you get a little bit closer and a little bit lower, you'll be able to switch to the dart gun and then you'll have to pop a couple of darts. This is not easy. I, I find it takes a second to get used to the controls, but once you've got it, it's it, it's stuck. But it just takes a second with any consequences. Alright, am I close enough or do I have to get closer? I think uh, about there right. should be fine, yeah. Now, if you press Y... Oh, man. Oh, the guys on the other side, though. Yeah, okay, so you okay. might just have to... Dinosaur so, attack? If you turn that way, right. the the uh, sorry, if you move the cursor to the left, the whole um, oh sorry, yeah, go back to the dark one view. All right, hold on, hold on. Sorry, that's fine. Oh, oh yeah, no, there we go. Oh no, no it's oh, it's the power lines. Yeah, it's, it's, still it's fine. Dead. It's fine. I'm going down. I'm going down. <laughs> I don't have a good feeling about this man. I was not. I was not. Oh well. To do this. Can I crash this? You can't crash it. You can't crash it. It's, it, it, it's so going to keep you facing. I can just through my, like, can I go just, like, explore a little bit? Y yeah, you can. You can go all around the playable area. If you hit the edges, it will just kind of keep you in. I'm still not getting how to do this. I'm just changing the camera angles. Oh, right. That's <laughs> <laughs> so most of it's done on left stick and with the triggers. Uh, all and right. then it's uh, kind of press up on the left stick to sort of fly forwards. And then you've got left and right. So you can do there most of it go. with the left stick and the right stick is more for adjusting the camera. There we go. Oh, there it is, there it oh, is. Oh, that's the Swifty Mimus. We need the, uh, the Edmontosaurus. I think, I think she's gone over there. I, can see, I right. think I saw move, the... Move out of the way, people. Oh. Move. Wow, wow. We, we, this is really high risk, this mission. <laughs> I'm sorry. This no, so this, is, this is fine. Um... Alright, where did the craft go? There it is, there it is. Over there. And the right trigger to come up a bit if you want to get a little bit high. Oh, she's only going to the bushes now. She's trying to make this extra Get out hard. of the bushes! Can I switch it back to the manual so yes, they do it? Yeah, you How can. Do so if, if you press B for back. Reassigning role. And then... Research. Oh, research complete. Focus. Good timing. Research. Well, that's and something I always a, argue for. Or, or just click OK. So if you wanted to go back to mouse and keyboard, you could go back to the ACU center. Mm -hmm. And, uh... And just click on the building, and now click on the team there, uh, ACU, ACU helicopter. That's it. And then go and click on your dinosaur. She's in the bushes. So she's over there in the bushes somewhere. If you zoom in a bit, you should get a little. So if we, uh, if you just pop over there with the um, yes. If you click, add, uh, sorry, add task. That's the one I'm looking for. And now we go find the dinosaur. So just use the normal controls to go and find the dinosaur. Uh, with, uh, where, where's that? Uh... There you go. Oh, there she is. There she, there is. she is. So we can flip the Doing camera over there. over there. Get over here. There we go. And just click on her there. And you can right click to come out of this tool. There we go. And now you should see the helicopter is going to fly over. And if you get in a bit closer, you'll see that it'll start shooting, uh, shooting her with, with tranquilizing darts. And a couple of darts should knock her out. And you'll see the glorious ragdoll system kick in. Down she goes. Oh, uh, that was so mean! Yeah, They're it's heartless. okay. I, I couldn't bring myself to do it. Kind of got the head stuck in the water there as well. <laughs> so uh -oh. now you have to, uh, you know, you have to transport her. So if you go back to the ACU center again, okay, they were just there. They have to send two teams. This is not efficient. Well, you've, you've got cost. a you've got a separate team for the for the transport. Uh, sorry, if you click on the building, you uh, got the. I uh, just come back out of this one. And then on the building itself, and you click the transport team there. Okay. That's it. And now if you click on your dinosaur, the one that we just tranquilized. Over there. And e oh, I had it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me just help you out with that. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Click that dinosaur there. And then if you click back inside the enclosure, that's a... So you choose your destination. It's going to put a little flare down. And that's it. I would advise that you shut the gate at this point, because otherwise she would just run straight back out again. Oh, here we go. We can see this magnificent helicopter coming down. This is actually really cool. I, I really like this part. All right, we'll look at this. We'll do the gate after. What's going you've, on here? You've got is a that bit of blood, time. or is it a oh, flare? Oh no, so that's a flare. That's a flare. Okay. 
gory. Oh, yeah, from a distance it looked a bit gory, but no, no, that's just a red flare, just so that the transport helicopter knows where to go. Then you'll see that, that will come down and attach straps to the dinosaur and uh, pick her up. Is there little people that come, or is it all...? It's all just done like this, but it's a oh. re really nice physics system we've got for that. No, that's yeah. beautiful. Um, okay, and the gate is right here, so I just yeah. click on it? Uh, yep, yeah, you just need to right-click to come out the transport team. Sweet. Yep, that's it, and then click on left click on the gate. Left click. There we go. Oh, oh. And then close gate. That's it. Very nice. Excellent. That was a very reckless thing to begin with. It was a hugely reckless thing to do, like so early on in the park, but uh, it's quite an exciting one, so it's quite good for the demo. <laughs> I have fun. Now, are other dinosaurs still out? Do we need to go rescue? Yes, I do believe your Strithiomimus is still out, so uh, we could. We could send out your team to uh, right. tranquilize them as well if you wanted. I love this how you can just check all them out, see yeah. what's going on, admire it. It's really nice. It, it, it keeps all the, the emotion going when you, when you see everything happening for real. This has got to be so much more hectic. When, do you have like a point where there's a T Rex and he's like, oh, just oh, let yeah. the T Rex out? And this is like the <laughs> easiest to get because sometimes you'll be like, this is great, my park's completely safe, and then a storm will come in and take uh -huh, out a fence, uh -huh. and then your T Rex runs out. And you're trying to deal with the fence, and you're trying to deal with the T-Rex, and it's uh, it gets really crazy. Oh, he looks happy now. Okay, so that was your first security mission completed awesome. the end, so you get a big reward for this one. I feel good about myself. That the music, job everything, it was successful. Oh, good. I'm glad. Look, I'm glad. The thing is, and we can, uh, if you wanted to, you can you could send that guy out to tranquilize the. Uh, you can see the Strithy Mimes is down there uh, no, wreaking havoc. You can see all your guests running away. You gonna try it again? I'm gonna try it again. See how you get on. Switch to the game pad. And that's always been the challenge of the Jurassic Industrial Complex. Oh, oh there you go. Right there. If you just press Y now, the immense potential you should be able to down. And so the left stick at this point will move the helicopter oh, around okay. on this axis, so you can you that's can move the helicopter the a bit. Right. Uh, oh, I see. They're going to back a bit. Should probably pop out the other side. Oh, there. Oh, there oh, 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 oh. And left click to zoom in. And then you, you want to shoot above her a bit because the dart has some drop okay, on it, like okay, an arrow. Okay, don't move. So, as it stays still. Stay still. Confirmed. It's good, it's good. Oh, and she's out. Oh, beautiful. Straight down. Nice. It's the first time. There you go. You just need, you just need, a, you just need a... All right, so I go back now? Yep, come back now. And back again. And then that will just fly back, and then you can go and get your transport team beautiful. again. So, I was worried about the landing again. No, that's fine. Oh no, it will just it will land itself. That's fine. You don't have to worry about it. Every time you come out of that mode, the AI just takes over straight away. Okay, and then I have to go and tell them to yeah. transport. That's right. And, and she's lit up over there. Initiate transport. Man, hold on. It's weird because I keep wanting to click over this instead of oh, actual see. dinosaur. Oh, that's good feedback. I'll, I'll pass that on. Right, and our enclosure is right here. Do I, do I have to open? I don't want to. Open no, just it. just click there, and it will just. Uh, it will just. There you go. It's already here. Perfect. It never takes them long to come in, and you can have multiple transport helicopters. So if you tranquilize like four dinosaurs, you could have four helicopters come in and take them all away. Now is, is this a water slide? No, this is the monorail station. I wish it was a water <laughs> slide. This is where your guests are coming into the park. Damn, that would be awesome. Seriously, so, and then can you expand the monorail system at all, or is that just... Yes, you can, yes, yeah. so later on in the game you can build the monorail to, to access other parts of the island. And, wow, so um, all this down into here, eventually, I can build... Well, all... if you look on the map, you can see the playable area right, is marked out in yellow, so again? if you just uh, pop out here, and if you just click on the map on the left there, if you zoom out with the scroll wheel, oh, you'll see that you've that, cool. that yellow area, that's everywhere where it's safe to build on this island. Okay. So you, uh, there's a lot of area that you can see is covered in a lot of forest. You can just deforest that and build in that in those areas. This is very cool. Now, is it, what is this here? Is that that's just the border of where you can build to? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Everything outside of that is is off limits. All right. Very cool. And then it's got all the stuff going. You can see it's slowly getting transported over. <laughs> yep. That's it. That's on its way. Um. Now, uh, can I? Oh, you've got you've got uh, another dinosaurs. one ready to release actually. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Perfect. So if you just hit release dinosaur. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yep. If you want, we can get some shops down and get some uh, yeah, yeah. To get some more stuff for the tourists. You can skip this with right click if you want to, but it's always nice. This to is watch. the best part. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad you said that. That's our part. <laughs> it's so lovely. 
And there's this wonderful uh, foot planting IK system on the legs, which makes sure that the feet always stay in contact with the ground, even though they're running over hills and things. So there's there's lots of uh, cool techie stuff going on under the hood. Now, can you at all control them or get them to do stuff or to run around or act, or they just have the mind of their own? So they're going to do. They're going to do what they want. I mean, you can get into a four by four later on, and you can go around blasting your horn at them, and that will kind of scare them in one direction. But uh, mostly, they they just do their own thing. Quite happy that whatever is their greatest need, they'll try and satisfy. Can see that. Where's my mates? We have two of these now. Yeah, so you should. So the social need for them should. There you go. They they found each other and they're having a little chat. There you go. My best friends forever. So they should be much happier now. They'll be much happier dinosaurs now. They've got someone else to. Uh oh, to they're plotting. With. Yeah, they oh. are plotting <laughs> against <laughs> Ducky Man <laughs> over here. Where's Ducky? Where's Ducky? Uh, just whack escape oh, and then I'm still getting used to the. It, it's yeah, just pop out of here. Okay. There we go. Yeah, escape will always escape. take you back. Yep. Oh, every now and then the characters will pop in and be like, "Hey, do you want a mission? You can take them off." I saw what you did last time, bro. You tried to endanger my part. Hey, yeah. I like it. We're gonna have to do it. I've been again. hearing oh, yeah. good yeah, things about course. you. I'm in charge of the entertainment. It's a good, it's a good thing about this game. If you get bored, the just show up, throw no the game open. <laughs> just Don't answer. Wait to see what happens. That's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our yes, so if you want to put down some shops and things, yes. that, those are all Numbers available in the revenue, visitors tab, which is the, the burger and uh, drink Ooh, fair. Fancy dancing. Yeah. So emergency, emergency shelter. shelter. That's that's no really important. It. If if anyone is if the dinosaurs escape, they can all run into the shelter, which keeps them oh. safe. Um, the hotel is going to. Can they get eaten? They can get eaten. Yeah. Uh, the, I'm the, sure that's very bad, but yeah, the larger carnivores and uh, raptors be... and things will eat the will eat the guests. Uh, the the uh, big herbivores as well will just pile through guests and just knock them flat. So they're, they're still very dangerous. The herbivores. Okay, now can I jump straight to any of them? Yeah, just you can build any of those if you want. All right, it's absolutely um, fine. Let's grab. Let's make a hotel. So the hotels are huge. We can um, find a nice big space for those. And that's really good because that attracts a lot of tourists to the park. I can't put it right there. Oh, no, that's, it, it that's, in, that's inside the enclosure. It would let you put it there, but you'd probably struggle to link up the park. All right, and also, so I'm not sure how many people would want to stay in that hotel. Where, is there another um, view? There's a nice space oh, wait, there, wait. actually. You could build it out here if you wanted to. You just it's have to run power into it. Location. Yeah. This is, can I spin it? Where's, yeah, where's you can. the entrance uh, going to be? X and Z will spin it round, and you'll see a little arrow coming out of the building, which shows you where the, uh, where the okay, path so is going to come that out. Okay, so that will be the front right there. Yeah, All that's right. it. Pop that down there. Boom. There we go, and you'll just need to run a path out to here. Okay, so then so there's the path. Oh. oh. So that's just a little warning because we started running low on power, but that's okay, we'll deal with that in a okay. minute. Okay, okay. It's a good thing I have you here. I don't know what I'd be doing without you. That's <laughs> okay. It's, you know, you know we have a bit more time to explore, but we're, we're shooting through it today. There we go, so that's hooked up. And now you just need to place down a, a power substation. So, um, so if you go under here and click the substation, which is the second one down, this one here, and if you put that, you see you've got this ring, any buildings within that ring will be powered. So you want to put that nice and close to that building. Where it's blue, that's it. See, and now if I was there... If you're I there, that would probably be... That probably wouldn't be enough. You want it okay. to be nicely within range. That's it. And now you've got pylons, and if you just click and add those pylons until you link up to an existing pylon. Okay. We'll uh, bring that up. Sweet. That's it. I think you just need to do one more click just to hook it onto that existing one because there's still a little tiny gap between those two. So if you just zoom in, I would scroll. That's it. Just link. Oh, you might just need to pop back. Yeah, okay, I think I, I, I double double did it. That's okay. If you just click now. Uh, that, that was obstructed now. Let's mm. quickly sort that out. Just uh, if you just right click now, can I just check that? You might need to just demolish that one. So if you just right click, okay, this one. Uh, yeah, if you just right click to. Oh no, sorry. If you press delete, I didn't forgot. There's a there's a shortcut in this one, and now just click on that one. Click on it. Yep, and that Ooh, gets rid of that one. And nice. if you just click on the one closest to you as well, uh, it should light up in red when you get. Yeah, this is. Oh, oh this is a little. You might need to get a little bit closer because it's such a fiddly little. Yeah, can you see it? They just didn't quite join up. So you could get the pylon tool and join those two up again. Or okay, so is this the problem, or is this the problem? Uh, I think it's just that they're not linked up. So actually, if you right-click again, just to come back to the other tool, and you want to zoom out a little bit, and you want to click on this one, and now click on the one closest to you, and you can see that's linked those two up. So awesome. there you go. So now you've got power running all the way out to 
Awesome. That's awesome. So there so you go. So we are all good. And so the only problem is, is that our power station isn't providing enough power for the park now. So we've just had our five minute warning, unfortunately. So we're going to have to wrap it up soon. But what you what you could do is if you were carrying on playing, you would either upgrade your power station so it produces more power, okay. or you would build another power station, which is really effective but very expensive. Or you can switch off a building that you're not using, and that power will go back into the grid. So if you say, actually, I don't need to research any fossils right now. Okay. I'm just going to switch off the fossil center, and that power is going to go back into the grid. So that's kind of an emergency measure cool. while you sort your park out. Oh, you've got a broken fence. I just spotted as well. What? Yeah, so one of your dinosaurs has been headbutting the fence. That was probably the Abontosaurus because it got unhappy with not having any more Abontosauruses and just decided to oh, headbutt no. his way out what of there. What are we going to do? Well, I guess we'll just have to find out next time then. Yeah, I mean, normally you'd build a ranger station. The ranger would come out uh, in the in the, in the the 4x4 and you could repair that fence. So that's just another part of the gameplay they've been going on. He likes to be free. I want Ducky to be free. We should we should leave him free. I mean, that's a lovely place to leave it. It's a happy story. I agree. Ducky got out of here. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. It's this been an absolute pleasure. So really enjoyed it. Fun. This game looks amazing. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you like it. And I think we've, we've just scratched the surface there. I hope that when it comes out, you get to do a bit more. Absolutely. Enjoy. Absolutely. It's so fun. All right. Cool. So, do you want to do any wrap up, or are you just really it? I think I'm good, but guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this thus far. It's definitely a game that I really plan to do. I think it's a good LP series on. Um, it's, it's just complete chaos happening right here. <laughs> this is the most awesome part. I'm sorry. And this is funny. You got right it's to the end. It's all started kicking off. It's, it is great. And I do love it when they power it, I guess. But yeah, sorry. That's the great place to leave it. Yeah, but you guys, let, let me know what you think. What do you think about this game? I think it looks stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'll get a little better with the controls. There we go. This is so much fun, though. I mean, just the, the distractions, the even not playing and just enjoying. Do you hear the people yelling? Oh, yeah, yeah, the people screaming. The well, lovely thing about the crowd is that this is all, all the screaming. A lot of that is done by our staff. We got the wall into the car park at work yeah. and said, right, everyone just go crazy like you're being chased. And uh, they were amazing. Like they did the most incredible job. Can you click on the people like the dinosaurs to see if they're happy? You can't click on the individual people, but okay. what you can do is uh, we can quickly show you this sure, before sure, you finish sure. up, actually, because it's, it's a really nice little feature is if you pop onto the management views here, mm -hmm. you've got all these little heat maps of, say, like, these guys are all hungry. So th in this area, there's no f nothing to cover their food or their thirst or their shopping. Mm -hmm. So you can click through all of these, and it just shows you, you know, this is where people are having fun, this is where people are losing money, this is where you're losing power. So at a glance, you can see overall how your, how your park's doing. Rather than the individuals, you can just see, like, the overall, this is, where, cool. you, this is where you need to satisfy uh, some needs. Awesome. There's a lot of micromanagement to do with the shops as well. All right. Well, cool. thank you so much. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Please remember, show that amazing support for it. Give that thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of the game. I absolutely love it. And it's coming out. Are we allowed to talk about that? Yeah, that, well, yeah June 12th. Is June the, 12th. Is the day we announced. First day of E3. I can't wait. That's so awesome. Awesome. All right. Thank you well, so much. I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you. Peace out.